Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about a very common mistake that I see a lot of uh, filmmakers, especially new filmmakers make, which is uh, them not putting enough attention to the final little touches that they put on their films uh, before they kind of rush to release it. And that can very often take what could have been a really amazing film, a film that has a real sort of emotional impact with the audience, and just kind of makes them feel a little mediocre, a little, you know, gives it that indie film feeling. Now, very often, of course, uh, the same filmmakers will give you an excuse that, yeah, their film maybe isn't all the way 100% there, but that's just because, uh, again, they were limited by their budget. And I'll tell you this, that budget has nothing to do with a lot of these mistakes that I see being made over and over. Now, the reason why you won't see a lot of those mistakes on bigger budget films is simply because those high-paying people who work on those films uh, really take the extra time and, and pay attention to all the little details. So the example I'm going to show you guys today here is a film I shot for a really talented director, uh, Jalen Presley. He's actually the writer and the director of this film. I already worked with Jalen on one film before this one, and here we're kind of on the final sort of a stretch, putting the, again, the finishing touches on his film titled The Rest of Us. So the first scene I want to show you here as an example is the scene where one of the characters gets, gets into an altercation with a police officer. Uh, he actually pulls out a cell phone out of his pocket and the, the cop mistakes it for something else. Anyways, uh, watch the scene. Just keep in mind that this is a rough cut, what I'm showing you right now. This is actually the first version of the edit of the film, which was done very quickly just to kind of see if, if everything kind of, that, all the footage that we got was enough. So anyways, this is uh, how the scene looks. I gotta go home, officer. Get back in the sidewalk. You don't understand. It's my sister. Get back you don't in the sidewalk. It's my Get sister. Get back in the you sidewalk. Don't understand. It's Get my back sister. in the sidewalk. <laughs> Hey, Ma. Jimmy was good. So uh, what you basically saw is, uh, you know, after he gets shot, we see a friend of the, the guy who got shot and his sister actually kind of get together and talk. And this is basically how it was scripted. And a lot of times what works in a script, obviously, is not going to work in the final film, uh, simply because sometimes the audience needs a little bit of a moment to breathe, you could say, to, to kind of, uh, you know, soak in to just what happened. And this was obviously a big thing, uh, you know, a big story point. So... Uh, in this case, just f first of all, g cutting straight from this very dramatic scene, uh, straight to this thing, you know, where where his uh, his friend and his sister meet, it's it's definitely doesn't work. So uh, we needed to add a little bit of time, and that was the first change that actually me and and the director Jalen uh, made. Uh, so let me just show you guys here how the second cut of this looks. So here I'm just gonna play the moment after he gets shot. So as you can see, we just added a little bit of the stock footage of flying over New York, and then we cut basically to this this uh, this <laughs> next scene. So sometimes you need those little things, and again, it's not something that you're gonna know when you're uh, shooting the film. Definitely not when you're writing the script, because sometimes you just don't know how fast things flow from one scene to the next. And and again, sometimes you just need those little bit of this kind of a pause. So that's the the big change here that we added. Uh, and right away, though, uh, you know, you'll you'll watch it, and obviously it's missing something. We didn't want to in this film really add overly a lot of music and and that's actually something that i think the the director jalen uh I, I think he made a right call for it the film overall feels very genuine very real because it doesn't have this kind of music that pulls at your at your sort of you could say hard strings or kind of forces the audience into to making it feel like oh you know this is what you're supposed to feel now at this moment so the movie the whole film is pretty much without music but in this moment we thought after basically the whole shooting happens it would be really beneficial to have that a bit of this kind of this 
kind of the moment sink in again before we cut to the next scene now and that's when those little things will happen now another thing for example here i wanted to show you is actually the moment where the police officer shoots him so just right now watch how it is right uh, how it looks basically without this before this little tweak i, I do so you can see you know he gets shot and I added these, you know, very simple sound effects of this, you know, gunshots. I added you know, multiple of these, but as you saw, it doesn't have the same impact. So then, what I end up adding actually is this little here sound effect, which is uh, this thing. So it's this little eerie. It's actually that's what it's called, the whoosh, eerie ghost bre breathing effect with metallic hit and echo. Again, adding these little things, this is basically what I would call sound design. It can really kind of take the scene to a whole new level. So let me play to you now that same moment, but with that sound effect added in there. So as you can see now, him, especially after he gets shot and he starts falling down, that little sound effect in the back just kind of makes the moment a little bit, again, makes the audience, it's very subtle, but it makes them kind of, I think, kind of sink in a little bit and go, holy shit, you know, what, what just happened kind of thing. Uh, now I want to show you kind of what I end up doing to, again, to kind of spice up and, and add a bit more emotion uh, to that, uh, the, you know, that transition that we, when we go from one scene to the next. So let me jump again to the next version here of the film. Uh, and basically what I added here is like some sound effects. So the first sound effect I added is uh, the sound basically of uh, police, basically radio charter. So that kind of thing. So now again, I'm gonna show you the moment where the police officer, like right after he shot him, kind of and how it looks. Shots fired, request squad 946. 74, 15, any responding south cars? Yes, shots fired. So I, I definitely, I, I know when I first, like when we were playing around with this in the edit with Jalen, when I heard this, it just, it, just hearing that, and when I added actually a little bit of this kind of echo sound effect uh, to, 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 to the radio charter and hearing that over the shot of New York City, I, I thought it just made it feel like wow, like it just adds impact to it. The next thing is adding music. Now, music a lot of times, especially when you're working on these low-budget films like this one. This one was a, a real low-budget film. We shot it over actually course of just one long day, uh, and uh, and so obviously a lot of these films you're not gonna have the kind of budgets where you can hire a music composer and get him to do an original score. But uh, these days we have a lot of choices, and one of the, the places that are where I go to get really good quality original, but also very good quality uh, music for my films is actually Artlist. Uh, by the way, if you guys want, follow the link in the description of my video. Find uh, for any discount codes and things like that. Uh, you, you guys can check that out uh, as always. And uh, and yeah, it's a website that I pretty much most of my videos, whether it's you know these kind of reviews I do online, or, or even when I'm working on films, as you can see, I use a lot of the music. So in this case, I actually end up downloading a lot of their music. And here I can kind of show you guys some of the music that I got. So here, let me just kind of play some of these uh, songs that we were basically picking with Jalen, uh, kind of experimenting and putting it in the film. So this is for a scene kind of earlier in the film. It's like this little hip hop kind of thing, an urban feel uh, scene where they're out in the street. This, I'm pretty sure this is the one that we actually ended up using in that ending scene. Yep, that's the one. Uh, I can kind of show you guys some of the other kind of cool tracks that I got from Artlist. So this we actually end up using for the rolling credits, things like that. So nice to meet you and make your acquaintance. 
And as you can see, Artlist even has uh, like actual songs with vocals in it, with original artists. And this was actually a little background music that we used in this little party scene earlier in the film. Anyways, now I'm gonna uh, show you guys again this this uh, here track. I'm gonna play it again one more time by itself. So now again, combine that together with our radio chatter. Uh, well, I'll let you guys watch this whole scene again, and you you tell me what you think. Uh, whether the scene looks uh, better or not. I gotta go home, officer. Get back in the sidewalk. You don't understand. It's my sister. Get back in the sidewalk. It's my sister. Get back in the sidewalk. Get back in the sidewalk. Get back in the sidewalk. Shit. Where is it? <laughs> Fuck. My sister. Receive shots fired, request squad 946. 74, 15, any responding south cars, you have shots fired. Hey, Ma. What you mean was good? I don't know about you, but I definitely think it looks way better. The transition, obviously, from one scene to the next, kind of, it's just literally a few seconds having that aerial shot here, but it again adds i think a lot to it it lets the audience kind of kind of soak in again with just what happened uh before we go move on to the next scene that kind of thing and then at the end actually the the, the whole film like after here we have this little moment where uh, you know the, the sister and his friend kind of hug and then uh, we end up kind of using the rest of that track uh sort of when it swells up and that's another thing i'll tell you guys a little tip is that just because, for example, like if you listen to this this track, it's actually first of all, it's not that long, uh, and it's it kind of has this moment here with the piano, and then it kind of swells up very quickly. Well, you'll notice here in my edit that I actually end up reusing basically that beginning. Then I again use that beginning again, kind of longer, then even longer, even longer. So basically, just that little piano playing before I actually end up going to the back of the, like basically the end of the track where the music swells up. So I'll let you hear that. And that that's something to keep in mind is that uh, a lot of times you don't have to just because you you get some kind of a music track uh, like the ones here that I got from Artlist doesn't mean that you just have to kind of settle with it because like a lot of times let's say the length of the track might not be exactly what you need for the for that scene you can kind of splice that music track again just make sure obviously you always cut on the right beat and, and moment so it kind of sounds seamless and the audience won't know and as long as again it just sells that emotional kind of a you know impact that that you want the the, the audience to to kind of get music obviously a very important thing sound design is very important uh, again this film isn't finished so color grading is going to be another layer that it's going to add to the final overall feel of this film these are all things that are very important and and these are tiny little details that don't really cost money or don't cost a lot of money like like the you know getting an artless subscription it's it's so affordable uh and you can you can again right away have access to all this music or or just for example getting nice looking colors in your shot again it doesn't mean that you need to be spending money on on something you just have to spend the time if anything and and kind of again polish your film work on those little finishing touches because again a lot of times and i've seen this myself you know you can take what's what has a potential to be a really great film and and it's very often ruined simply because the the, the people on working on the project didn't take the time to sit there and 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 you know kind of sometimes you have to go over a scene over and over and over and until you find what works for it what what gives it that extra little bit, you know, but uh, 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 increase in quality and, and definitely that sells the right emotion that you want the audience to, to, to have at that particular moment in the film. So uh, definitely pay attention to all those little details and hopefully you guys found this video interesting. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com where you can see a lot more cool uh, tutorials like this one, uh, but also filmmaking gear reviews and things like that. Uh, plus you can subscribe to my newsletter over there so you stay on top of all the releases I have. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.